Hi, Charlotte here. For this week of Plastic Free July, I was focusing on plastic free skincare and avoiding the soft plastic packaging that comes with it. So I finished these two products and I wanted to have a look at the labels to see how I could dispose of them. This one here does tell me that there are two different types of plastic for the tube and for the lid, but it doesn't tell me which bin I can put them in. Um, this one here just has a triangle symbol on there, but it doesn't tell me if I need to separate them or if I can put them in my curbside recycling. Um, that's a real shame because they were ticking a lot of sustainability targets for me, but avoiding waste is obviously the top priority. I went to a few different pharmacies and had a look on the shelves and most of the things were covered in a soft plastic packaging or they were made from sort of some sort of rigid plastic, but I did manage to find this option here. So it comes in a cardboard box and that product itself is actually made from glass, which is fantastic because glass is infinitely recyclable. The lid though is plastic, but two out of three is pretty good. Something else that I found were these cleansers. So they come in a cardboard box, which I can either recycle or compost. And the product itself is just this bar here. So there's no packaging. I don't have to worry about any sort of plastic bottles, plastic lids or plastic pumps. So when I finish using it, it just disappears. So that's really, really great. So I found just spending a couple more minutes scanning through the shelves and having a look at other products and actually reading their labels really helped me choose which ones I should, I should buy based upon what they're made from and if those are recyclable materials. Um, something else I was got really excited about were my cotton bags that are arrived in the mail. So I can use these when I go get my fruit and vegetables and I don't need to put them straight into the trolley. I can actually just put them in here and weigh them and take them home straight away. Hey guys, this week I'm tackling the bathroom and conveniently we're on our last roll of toilet paper when my new um, toilet paper arrived. They basically do plastic free toilet paper. Let's open it up and have a look inside. So this is what it looks like. It comes wrapped in tissue paper. Um, another aspect of the bathroom that I thought I'd tackle would be toothpaste. Uh, so these toothpastes are made of plastic, so technically are recyclable, but not recyclable in most curbside collections, uh, mostly because of the shape that it is presented in. It doesn't get picked up with our sorting system that we use in Australian recycling. Since it's plastic free July, I will try my to make my own toothpaste. To make your own toothpaste, you would need coconut oil, baking soda or bicarb soda, and some sort of flavoring. I chose lemon just so it makes the toothpaste taste a bit nicer. You'll also need a container of some sort to store your toothpaste in. So to start things off, two tablespoons of coconut oil. Just for mix, to make things a bit easier when it comes to mixing, just um, melt the, the coconut oil a little bit. And then we're gonna add in two tablespoons of bicarb. Keep your teeth white and clean. I couldn't find any extracts in glass containers, so this came with a bit of plastic packaging, and this is a plastic bottle. Um, you can use essential oils, but depending on the scent, some are inedible, so I thought extract might be a safer option. Um, and I'm just gonna probably put half a tablespoon in there. Mix it up and see how it tastes. That's pretty much it. I'm now just gonna pour it into my container. Why don't you guys have a go at trying to reduce single-use plastic in your bathroom this week? And I'll see you guys next week for the laundry. Bye! Hi guys, so week two of Plastic Free July and it's time to do my um, waste audit and I'm shocked actually as to how much my plastic is piling up after two weeks. I guess you call it hard plastic. Not so much, uh, not as, not, not too bad, but this pile here, oh my God, that is huge. This is all my soft plastics, um, quite shocking. And here we have some composite plastics. So that's it for this week. I bought some produce bags during the week. And so any produce I did get, I put in these uh, produce bags, um, which can go in your crisper. And you can actually also wash your fruit in there. 
or veggies um, and then once it's dry you can whack it in your crisper and um, yeah you don't have to use the plastic for that so I was pretty I was pretty happy to use that and that's it for me Thank you.